We are in the kitchen with Chef Caleb from Jack Dusty. We have a lot of work to do, and all these things smell delicious. How does it all go together to make food that I can eat? Well, you know, maybe you want to borrow the car or get a little money out of Dad this Sunday. Yeah. Really? We're going to do a lot of special things for Father's Day at Jack awesome. Dusty. The first thing is we're going to keep him caffeinated with a coffee rubbed uh, strip Ooh, steak. That makes good. It's, it's going to go with our house made uh, steak sauce. So, Linda, if I could ask you to prepare our rub, okay. we have a little bit of coffee, a little bit of black pepper, black uh, pepper. some ground mustard, ground mustard. Uh, as well as paprika. Yeah, maybe and this is coffee. It smells so yes, good. Yes, it is. And you can use any Salt. coffee, a caffeinated, Salt. decaffeinated Salt. coffee. She has to go paprika. Paprika. Absolutely. And then if you just give that a quick stir, we'll get that. We'll put it right here. We'll get our steaks going. In the meantime, we can actually put a little bit of just olive oil in our pan. That's a little bit. This looks complicated, but it's bit. not, right? It's really not. And actually, I'm going to start with a little bit of onions for our steak sauce. Kind of okay. get that cooking. Okay. There. I have a quick question. When we're, you mentioned uh, you can use any kind of coffee. Is there a benefit to buying more expensive coffee, or is it one of those things you can kind of get away with? For middle? this purpose, not not necessarily. Okay. You can really kind of use any kind of coffee you have around the house. We use Joffrey's uh, out of Tampa. It's a really nice uh, quality okay. coffee we offer mm -hmm. in our restaurant. Thank you so much, Linda. So we'll take one of our beautiful steaks here, our strips, New York strip steaks. Really nice, uh, nice tender cut. Mm. We'll just kind of literally wow. coat that. Now, salt's already in this, right? So we don't want to add any additional salt to that. Okay. And we're just going to let that sear. We want to sear in that nice crust. Uh, in the meantime, we have our steak sauce cooking here. We're going to cook these onions till they're uh, translucent, and you can, uh, you know, kind of see through them. Well, you told me there are like 27 different ingredients. There's a lot of ingredients oh in this. My. And, and Don't I, try this at home. No, well, you certainly could. <laughs> Go to Jack Dusty. Dad's a complex guy, he so is. we have to we have to add all these different ingredients. So when this is translucent, right. we would start adding these ingredients. Yes. Uh, in no particular order, if you'd like to to start R really? helping yes. add these. We can start. I got a little ketchup here. Yeah. It smells really good. That's a little liquid smoke. Yep. This We're going like to add a little bit of chili powder. Right. Can you buy liquid smoke Not anywhere? Mustard. You absolutely can. Oh, so Certainly. this is our little thing. And it's so a nice little kind of cheat thing that you can have oh, yeah. opposed to, to smoking. We like that. This is as close to cooking as you ever A little bit of mustard. <laughs> no, I think it's You're okay. We're still getting a nice, like nice crust really? there. Okay. Yeah, we got a little bit of lemon juice. Am I pouring all of this in? All of it. Really? Pour all of it. Okay, That's, this way we have steak Whoa. sauce lasts us Dad wow. deserves for it, weeks. Jeffrey. Is that, is that just, <laughs> well, don't what's skimp on Dad. What's great about this sauce is you can use it on anything, a sandwich, right. uh, anything. You can put it on your meatloaf, whatever right. you, you'd oh, like. Nice. This is a really great sauce that we have here. Okay. So I'm going to give that a flip. Oh, wow, you can that see that good. nice crust is, is kind of baked in there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place it in the oven here. Okay, so we're only cooking it halfway just to get that crust. We're going to get that crust, but then we're going to finish it in the oven. And the Magic of TV, we already got one Watch that's this. coming it's out. warm here, so I we do have a... work for nothing? No, no, you, you, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to go to good use, I promise you. okay, gosh, because I'm doing my best. Yeah, now Thank this you. is this is going to uh, simmer for about 30 minutes, believe it or not, and it's going to get really nice and thick. We're going to blend it in with an immersion Ooh. blender or something, something uh, maybe a, a, a stand blender we have, and then... We will take one of our beautiful steaks out here. And then where does the beer come in? Well, well wait, the, I have a question. Cutting steak is what I'm, I get nervous about oh, cutting it the wrong way against the grain question. with the grain. Yeah, Can you show us some tips? You know, if you're eating it at home, obviously there's no wrong Just way to do it. it, right? But we like to you cut. You didn't grow up in my family. <laughs> <laughs> See, at <laughs> give an angle, Joey. Oh, how do you add do it? Nice an angle oh, no. here. And it kind of makes for a nice presentation. Against the grain. Uh, there is Here a we are. Place. And you know we don't like our stuff um, rare, so you overdid it for us. I no. love this. No, <laughs> I like did. a nice mid rare medium. Like I know that I know that I we don't, don't have a lot of rare eaters here, so yeah, I always I always bring lunch, you know. <laughs> but we're gonna take that and we're serving it with a little bit of our steak sauce here. So we're gonna place just our nice steak there. And I like to serve it with a little bit of vegetable, right? A little bit of bite to it. Yes. So we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. See, Good for the, Dad's heart. That's the, right. We've got to think about Dad's health. Even the you placement know. looks nice. See, yes, they, it does. They, they know what that's they're doing. A little bit of sea salt. Doing it. A little yes. bit of sea salt, and we'll serve it with a nice, nice green salad. That, that looks that. delicious. Now, you had mentioned earlier, and Jeffrey asked about the beer. beer. I know Jack Dusty carries a lot of local craft beers, which is great. And you brought us the Midnight Espresso from Motorworks. So it seems like and a it perfect... Pairs well. Oh, Perfect like the uh, tip for Dad. So I'm going to crack one open and start passing them down. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. You know, and I just want to make sure, so the sauce we were making is what's this in That's here? That's correct. We, we've cooked it about 30 minutes. We've cooled it down, blended it, added, a little, added the horseradish, wow. and you have this nice, beautiful it steak looks, sauce It smells here. delicious. We can't wait can't to dive wait to in, taste. and we're excited for Dad. Now, a great recipe you can try at home, and if you'd rather just go enjoy the Seriously. meal with Dad, they can always make reservations at Jack Dusty at the Ritz. Thank you, Chef Caleb. Jeffrey, thank you. My pleasure. Always Love great.
being here with you all, always. Hopefully, I'll get this beer to you before the end of the show. Yeah. We just want to tell you, pass that on down. Take some time. Enjoy the Suncoast view. We're going to dig in.